All right, hi everybody. I'm Artem Aginsky here with Texas Instruments at Embedded World 23. And we're gonna take a look at some exciting products that we're launching for the Embedded Portfolio at TI. So come with me and check out our booth. It's been a busy show? Oh, absolutely, it's been incredible. Lots of momentum, uh, lots of exciting announcements. So we'll talk a little bit about some of the really cool technologies we're doing within MCU and MPU of our products. What well, we'll talk about today is some of the cool launches we're doing on our MSP portfolio. We'll talk a little bit about our new ARM-based M0s, and then we'll circle around and take a look at some of our vision processors where we're adding analytics at the edge to make electronics smarter, more intelligent. The latest generations of uh, microcontrollers yeah. get to be even smaller in nanometer, lower power consumption. Exactly, you're, you're spot on, right? Lower power and more integration, that's what we're about. All right. Uh, and you can kind of see as uh, the wafers are getting to 300 millimeter, our capacity continues to grow as well. So let's take a look at some of the cool demos here around our MSP M0 portfolio. Um, and what we're showing here today is a brand new uh, just launched portfolio that we announced yesterday of M0 Plus based MCUs. With all these? All these. All these are new. Absolutely. So great scalability, uh, lots of different packages, lots of different memory options, and lots of really good analog integration. And that's really where TI differentiates. We add a lot of the architectural and integration around the ARM cores to enable our customers to innovate. Um, but we don't stop there. What we do with these uh, parts here is what we actually uh, solve the ease of use and how fast our developers can get started, right? So we've developed a number of configurations and tools um, that, yeah. yeah, number of different tools that we've enabled uh, our customers to be able to configure the MCU without any need to program it. So now imagine an analog designer who's trying to innovate with an MCU can start with graphical interface tools that simplify their development cycle, get to production faster, narrow down to one of our many MCUs, and get going quickly with this M0, MSP M0 process. So this, this is analog configurator? Yeah. Like, what, is that, what is that about? Yeah. Um, so what this uh, configurator does is it lets you connect the different analog pins within the device without having to actually write any lines of code. So let's say you want to take an ADC signal in, you want to filter it, and then you want to react to it, right? You can do all of that with configure it with visual blocks rather than writing any lines of code. And the time to market is just substantially simplified and you can innovate rapidly. Nice. All right. And you can see some of the cool applications that MSP M0s go into here. Um, and really, these are small MCUs, so they're actually everywhere. Believe it or not, every little board in the world will have one of these sort of chips on it. And you can see it's everything from a car to power to motor control, right? Anywhere you're doing any kind of processing. There's a, a yes, pretty much billions of them being shipped. Absolutely. But this is the latest. This is the latest, greatest, lowest power, lowest cost, affordability, bringing MCUs to the masses. Is it ARM Cortex M0? It's ARM Plus? Cortex M0 Plus, exactly. All right. All right. Very good. So yep. we'll circle around and take a look at some of our vision processors as well. Uh, so in addition to the MCUs, we're launching lots of processors today uh, as well, focused on vision specifically. So what we've done is these are also ARM core based uh, processors, uh, but what we have done is we added a TI developed uh, AI engine inside that allows us to enable lower power, lower costs than analytics could ever be. And why does that matter? Well, electronics are becoming more and more intelligent, which means they have to make decisions, and those decisions have to be done with low latency. And so they have to happen where the data happens, and that is at the edge, right? And with this scalable portfolio, we actually tailor the size, the power consumption, and the cost to the different applications that are needed. We start with something like a 6 to 8 family here um, that enables a single to dual cameras with up to two tops of performance. Uh, and then we uh, scale up with our 6 to 8 a to 1 to 8 cameras and 8 tops. Uh, and even to our AIM 69A where we can support up to 12 cameras with 32 tops of performance. Are these all your uh, board the partners? 
Absolutely, yeah. So as you can see, all of our kind of TI boards up here where we're demonstrating the various demos. And as you look down, right, this is the scale of the ecosystem that is brought uh, to our portfolio through our partners. Um, and what this does is, again, simplifies a customer experience to get to the market faster through available hardware, through easy to use software, uh, and most importantly, making it reusable across all applications. All right. Um, so there's all kinds of shapes and uh, use cases being developed yeah. and put to market. Absolutely. Uh, there's no one size fits all, right? And that's the differentiation from TI. We bring a portfolio of products that are enabling our customers to innovate for their applications. All right. And uh, here on the screens, you show some of the edge vision AI processing Absolutely. applications. Absolutely. Yeah, so you can see a few different applications across board here from different cameras. Um, and really what we're showing is the sensor is responding at the edge, right, where it's important to make that decision. So you can see whether it's an intersection where you're trying to see cars and people walk across and you have to turn and off the lights. You want to make sure that is accurate and safe, right? Same with something like a, a delivery robot that's driving around, dropping off packages. You want it to be able to be safe and reliable. <laughs> nice. So you're launching the new Vision processor. Oh, yeah. So this AIM6A family that you see here uh, just announced yesterday, right? But it's actually now available on TI.com. So everything here you see here, you can come to TI.com slash AGI and order today, get started today. So you've been working uh, over the past time to get all these board uh, makers to prepare the boards to, so that they could be ready. Absolutely. Yeah, and, and this is an extension of the portfolio we have. So AIM-6 is actually a brand of many different processors, and the, uh, the AIM-6A added analytics to our already existing core base, which has enabled our customers to really reuse a lot of the software and add on the analytics to get to market even faster, including our board partners. And that's an ARM Cortex? A53 for the Cortex, and then the Accelerator is actually a TI-developed one. Um, so we can differentiate on the power and the affordability of these And that's processes. directly on the SOC? Directly on the SOC, integrated fully. So great power performance and power consumption. The power consumption is a really important aspect of it. It absolutely is very low power, and that's what makes it uh, be able to be at the edge, right? Because once you're at the edge, you have to deploy in all kinds of small form factors, right? You have to make sure that uh, all of these things are um, can fit where they need to go. And then power becomes a very big consideration. So that's where we've innovated by scaling across our portfolio with all of these low power processors. Nice. So this could be a, a, a huge seller, potentially. This Absolutely. could be a big market. It's a huge market. I'm Every... sure as you walk around, you've seen AI, right? All of the electronics are becoming more intelligent. It's a major trend. And it's solving real world problems. So we see a lot of opportunity here for people to innovate. So next gen security cameras are just gonna be not like the previous gen. Absolutely. All right. Smarter, better, safer. All right. And uh, is a bunch of stuff more at the booth? Yeah, we can look at a few more demos as we walk around here with, uh, with different intelligence. Um, you can see here pose estimation where you can actually tell uh, what the human is doing, right? And you can react. So you can imagine in a factory where you're with a co uh, located with a, uh, with a bot, right? That's moving around and you're moving around. You want to be able to tell exactly where your hands are, right? Because you don't want the robot and the person running into each other, right? And with this kind of AI technology, we can actually do that at the edge and re retain privacy because all the decision and all of the data processing happens at the edge. You don't have to send the, any of the video or data out to the cloud. Nice. Because right? it would be terabytes and terabytes of data Absolutely. and there's no need. And there's no need. That's exactly it. Um, but that's the industrial innovation. Similarly, we see a lot of innovation in retail, home automation. Um, and so one of the demos we're showing here, yeah. um, if you're able to see it. Yeah, um, well, let's, go. Yeah. let's go right, right Yeah, let's maybe go. we'll go on the other side. All right, let's do that. All right. 
Yeah, so if you look over here, what we're showcasing with this demo, again, running on our AIM 62A products that you saw over here, is object identification and classification for retail use case. I don't know how it is for you, but whenever I get lunch in the middle of the day, you know, you're waiting in line way longer than you're actually eating your lunch. And so what we're showing here is AI can actually tell you what you put on your plate and charge you automatically for it rather than you having to stand in a long line you know, explaining what you're purchasing. And that innovation is gonna make people's lives better, give us more time back, right, and enjoy our lives a little bit more. So we're extremely excited about some of the cool things that are happening. It might also start the alarm and uh, uh, if you're not getting the right ingredients for your diet. Sure, that's a fantastic okay. idea, I love that. That would definitely help me get better uh, with my diet. It'll, it'll go directly on your phone and yeah. uh, connect with your Fit app and yeah. tell you exactly what you ate. And tell you if you're missing it in the fridge too, right? <laughs> so you All can right. reorder it as you need it. Nice. Is this just smart programming or is it really enabled by your chip? So it's really enabled by our chip because the way AI technology works is actually it is trained on the data, the real world data to make those decisions. So instead of it being you know, pre-programmed for a decision, it's trained. And what that makes it do is be more accurate, right? more responsive, but also over time it can self-train even more, right? The more bananas I put here, the better the banana recognition will get, right? And so it only gets better with time as well. So each chip gets better or the whole the, the, the training the model the, the, the is model gets shared. better. Yeah, yeah. It gets shared to all the chips somehow. Uh, yeah, I mean there's a lot of models out there that get trained for sure. Um, but generally you do it on the chip, but these are also connected, right? So we have the things like Ethernet, we have Wi-Fi protocols. So all of these things can talk to each other and improve together as well. Nice. That's cool. Yeah, it's very exciting. We're super, super excited to be here. Nice. There's nice. a bunch more you want to show. Uh, I think we hit all the key ones, I think. So, yeah. But it goes uh, all the way around your booth. And there's all the meeting areas. Yeah, there. you'll you start running into some meeting areas and coffees. But if everybody wants to see me drink some coffee, that's an option too. Okay. Cool. <laughs> but all we right. got the cool stuff. Thanks a lot. I appreciate it. Thank you for coming by. And again, this is Artem McGinsky with Texas Instruments here at Embedded World 23.